In the red corner, it's Maxicun. Core Kumanon. 19 years of age. He started fighting when he was 10. Five feet four inches tall. He's had 25 professional fights, eight losses, and four draws. And in the blue corner, it's Pawn Siri. Look, Slia Chiachai. 20 years of age. He started fighting when he was 10. Five feet four inches tall. He's had 27 professional fights, 10 losses, and six draws. On his knees there is Maxicun. Maxicun coming into this particular fight with a lot of talk about this fighter in terms of his ability. He's uh, been very impressive in the run up to this important contest for him. He's um, been on a winning streak. And there's his opponent, Porn Siri, also a very, very capable fighter. Uh, he's also in peak condition in the blue corner, Porn Siri. And uh, Mexican, there's a lot of talk about this fighter. He's uh, come in with a fairly strong reputation. And uh, he's looking in very strong conditioning. Uh, been training extremely hard, and uh, there he is doing his Ram Nui dance with the Mong Kong crown on his head. And looking very fit indeed as uh, Maxi Kun. Taking a little bit more time with his Ram Nui than Porn Siri. There he is, Mexican. Each uh, fighter has his own particular style of doing the Ram Nui. Uh, usually you can tell the style represents their training camp. Consequently, if two fighters have exactly the same style, they're not permitted to fight because no two fighters from the same camp are allowed to fight in a Muay Thai contest in th at this level at least anyway. Uh, that means that the fighters come in from separate camps, keeps the competition strong and so each particular camp has, has their own form of the Ramuay dance so consequently every fighter has a different style there's Porn Siri he's had his Mong Kong remove and uh, Mexican uh, just stretching out as the first round gets underway Mexican in the red Porn Siri in the blue and let's have a look at uh, Mexican uh, said before coming into the ring with a fairly big reputation let's see how he measures up here against Porn Siri who is also a very very capable fighter Porn Siri 20 years of age one year older than Mexico both fighters exactly the same height at four five feet four inches fighting out at 117 pounds both fighters right on 117 both fighters really start to peak now, so uh, this should be a very interesting contest. This first round, the probing round, uh, where the two fighters work out their strategy. Bit of foxing going on out there at the moment. No real shots being put in. Probe attacks, just checking out to see which way their opponents will respond to an attack, whether it be with the fists or with the knee or with the kicks or the elbow. A few probes going out there just to check to see which way the defence is, and uh, Ponsari now putting a bit of pressure on to Mexican. Mexican uh, didn't cover up too well to that attack, and uh, no doubt Ponsari will be heartened to see that uh, Mexican really didn't offer much defence to his attacks. Now Mexican jabbing out to keep uh, Ponsari away. Ponsari shaping up now to Mexican. Mexican comes in with a kick and punch combination, then backs away. The foxing going on as uh, Porn Siri gets the, the probe punch in. Mexican taking a good look. Maybe that lack of defense is there deliberately at the moment to maybe entice Porn Siri to get in a little closer and then Mexican can get his fist working. But right now, Mexican on the defense against uh, Porn Siri. Porn Siri starting to. to uh, Use a bit of psychological warfare as he nods his head as if to, to say, I got through. Then he gets in half of the knees and the punches. So, Ponsari really putting some pressure on to Mexican now in this first round. Mexican into the grapple. No action taking place. The referee breaks. Referee will break the grapple every time the fighters 
decline from doing any attacks on the grapple. The grapple is not a place to rest. It's uh, only allowed if the fighters do score with their knees. Now some knees works going on here in the grapple. Referee not happy with the performance of the, that grapple and breaks it yet, yet again. So Mexican goes back. He had his uh, defence really tested there by Ponceri in that first round. You can see a hard punch by Ponceri got through the defence of Mexican. And uh, Ponceri looking quite confident now as we go into the second round. And Mexican, uh, well, it was a bit of a disappointing round there. He, he uh, failed to reach up to the expectations that people had of his uh, defence there. He was very open to uh, Ponceri. And let's see if he can tighten up his defence here in round two. Ponceri looking very confident. It's very showy at the moment out there as he ducks and moves around. And Mexican... Uh, we we'll need to put a bit of pressure on to Ponceri if otherwise Ponceri will get to that confidence situation where he'll start to dominate and that's the last thing that Mexican wants to see happen in this uh, second round. Good. Referee again not happy with the workload in the grapple and breaks it. Mexican in the red, Ponceri in the blue. Ponceri slightly ahead of my estimations. The referee having words for the fighters, telling them both to increase their workload. Good knee and strike there by Ponceri in the grapple. That was better. The referee having a close look at this. He's not happy with the workload, telling them to keep keep moving, keep kneeing, otherwise you'll break it. There he is, not happy again with the knee. He's having words to both fighters now, telling them that the grapple is not a place to rest. Grapple on. Referee looking closely. Both fighters using their test of strength, trying to lean onto each other, but not much happening in terms of knee strikes. Referee again looking very closely at it, allowing it to go on. Strength by Mexicon as he, as Ponceri is hurled onto the canvas as he gets up, smugly gets up as if to say, well, I more or less tripped into that situation. It wasn't your strength, but uh, certainly Mexican got the advantage of that grapple. Now fighters are facing each other, a knee strike, uh, should I say elbow strike there by Ponceri. You could hear Mexican sort of acknowledge that one as it got through too. Ponceri, tricky customer, ducks and weaves, fights in bursts, never has one position and uh, Mexican now just trying to sort him out with some kicks to the thighs. Trying to slow Ponceri down. Now Ponceri gets into his grapple mode. Knees attempts by Mexican. Referee not happy with the workload in there. Wanting to see more knee strikes. Now Mexican gets his knees going and hurls Ponceri down for the second time. Well, certainly Mexican has the strength in the grapple, but what he hasn't been able to do is to convert it with point scoring with his knees but he certainly is strong in the grapple, there's no doubt about that, Mexican in the red corner. Here they are now exchanging knees in the grapple in the slow motion, there he is, there's the strength of Mexican hurling Ponceri down. Uh, the, uh, the ruling of Muay Thai is that you're not allowed to wrestle, you're not allowed to use a wrestling to, to, uh, to bring a fighter down, but you are allowed to manoeuvre a fighter so that you can get your knee strikes in, so the referee would have determined that wasn't, that in fact uh, Mexican was manoeuvring Ponceri around and wasn't just using a, a wrestling throw. Into the grapple again, knee strikes, both fighters exchanging knees. Mexican getting a few more knees in now at the moment than Ponceri. Ponceri not looking all that happy in the grapple. And there it is again, Mexican, third time now he's shown his strength to bring Ponceri down. So really Ponceri should be maybe keeping at long range and not being enticed into the grapple by Mexican because Mexican has now won three decisive grapples and um, uh, that would be starting to impact on the on the judges to see now uh, Ponceri was able to push Mexican back with his strong kicks that's a better way of doing it punches and kicks is Ponceri's best option now the knee in the grapple starting to intensify now in the grappling modes and again, the strength of Mexican as he clips Ponceri on the head after he was down. And that's not good form. 
Uh, no strike is allowed once a fighter is onto the ground and that uh, tap on the head was not very good form by Mexican. But I think that's sort of his indication that he really wants to turn it on right now, Mexican. He's uh, tired of the, the preliminaries. He wants to get down to business and there he is showing his strength again as Ponceri finds himself facing the canvas. Well, Mexican really is starting to put the pressure on the Ponceri. He's a lot more determined as he fires in the, the hard knees of the grapple. Ponceri wilts down to that pressure of Mexican. Mexican really looking like he wants to win this contest at the moment. Dominating in the grapples. And uh, now Ponceri comes back with some strong punches, but not before Mexican gets his grappling irons on him, powers him with the knees, and down goes Ponceri again. Not happy with the referee keeping him away. He wanted to keep on attacking as uh, Ponceri went down. But the referee said he was already on the canvas, and you can't attack once a fighter is decked down. But you can see that Mexican really wants to keep this one going. And uh, Ponceri, well, his best chance is to get his punches working because he's landed a couple of strong punches onto Mexican. But every time it gets into the grappling mode, Mexican seems to be a lot more powerful. You can see him now hurling Ponceri around before the referee breaks it because of no action taking place in the grapple. And uh, Mexican goes back into his corner, very determined indeed. There he is. Really wanted to have it on with Ponceri in that round. See Mexican getting into the grappling. Then he powers in his knees. One, two, and you can see Ponceri starting to wilt now. He really is under a lot of pressure from those knees of Mexican. One, two, three, four, five, and down goes Ponceri. And he wanted to keep on going, and the referee pushes him away. And you're watching Muay Thai. Why would 10 apparently sensible, healthy young men accept the challenge most of us would consider really, really stupid? Because these are no ordinary men, and this is no ordinary challenge. They are the best of the best. The elites, ready to take on everything this rugged continent can throw at them. Oh, Wally has a spill! Ten supreme athletes, ready to push themselves to unimaginable extremes of physical endurance on the biggest playing field in sports. From Ginandera Falls in the ACT, over Barumba Rocks, down the Tully River, across Mount Connor, to Tasman Island, we're on a mission to find the country's toughest Iron Man. Over five extreme weeks, who will have the edge to rise above all others on the Kellogg's Nutrigrain Test of the Toughest? Iron Grip tonight at 7.30, Fox Sports. Meet the gallery of guys and gals with a gift of the gab. Me, ugly! No, you're not. Beautiful! Taking on surrealism with nothing but their wits. Hey, hey! She lied to me, virgin wool my ass. Where a lethal turn of phrase could mean instant death. So many that aren't going to get on the air. A fascinating trip down the byways of the imagination. Am I going to give you a tongue slapping? Yes. A new series of Arena's Best. Whose line is it anyway? Thursdays at 8 on Arena. Muay Thai. Round four. Mexican had a good round three and uh, Ponceri will have to keep him in check in this fourth round often known as the winning round of Muay Thai. Ponceri does land a good knee at the start of the round and that's what he's got to do for most of this last two important rounds because looked to me as if Mexican was starting to get his confidence up he was very very determined and uh, Ponceri is going to have to really put it in in this round to stop Mexican and to see Mexican really like a terrier in the grappling, getting his knees working very hard indeed in the close range quarters. The knee work of Mexican is starting to tell on to Ponceri. Ponceri holding on desperately, but there's the knee power of Mexican. Mexican one, two, he's outscoring Ponceri three to one in the, with the knee strikes in the grappling and that is not good for Ponceri because he really does need to do something to stop Mexican. Mexican really starting to dominate there in the third round and he's continuing on here in the fourth 
and a good knee strike by Pornsuri he had Mexican in a bit of trouble then Mexican held his ground not before Pornsuri though did do a flying knee attack and uh and now Mexican comes back with his strength in the grapple, but that was a good attacking drive there by Ponceri. Flying knee and caught Mexican. Mexican held his ground and used his strength to push Ponceri down again, but that was a fine example of a flying knee. And now a good sweeping kick there by, by Ponceri, and Mexican couldn't stand upright. So Ponceri, one of those unpredictable fighters, just when you think that Mexican was starting to dominate, Ponceri came back with some clever fight, fighting material, particularly with that flying knee, and then he was able to use that sweep kick, and uh, Mexican went down, so... Well, it's still a lot of fight left in Ponceri, it's not over yet. Even though Mexican, in my estimation, is ahead on points. Now let's look at this grapple. Knee strikes. See how Mexican is dominating the knee attacks in the grapple. He always outscores at least two or three to one to Ponceri. Ponceri can't keep up with the strength of uh, Mexican in the grapples either. You can see that uh, Mexican there just pounding him with his knees and fortunately the referee determined that there wasn't enough action taking place and he, he broke that grapple, but certainly Mexican looks a lot stronger. Sweet kick by Ponceri. Then he goes grappling and one wonders the wisdom of grappling against Mexican because Mexican seems to me to have a lot more power than Ponceri and Ponceri does look a lot better when he's able to have a bit of space between himself and Mexican. There's Mexican again trying to swing Ponceri around and again outscores him with the knees into the fourth round. Ponceri goes back, he's breathing well, he looks still like he's got a lot of fight left in him. But uh, there's Mexican now. There's the sweep kick of uh, Ponceri and Mexican goes down. And that was a fine example of a low leg kick by Ponceri. We didn't see the slow motion of that flying knee that uh, also was very impressive in that round. Now, with one round remaining, Mexican ahead on points. Ponceri will have to charge in and make his run and be dominating this round if he's going to win. Let's see if he's good enough. Mexican in the grapple. He's dominated most of the grapple as Mexican with power. There he is again, too much power for Ponceri, and that's not what Ponceri needed in this fifth round. He needs to stay upright. He needs to put pressure on to Mexican, and he needs to really score with some solid kicks or punches. Now, Ponceri, realizing that this is the moment of truth, charges in on the Mexican, Mexican, Again, too strong in the grapple, and Ponceri finds himself facing the canvas. Solid roundhouse there by Mexican. Punches by Mexican. Ponceri attacking aggressively, knowing that time is running out. And uh, Mexican quite happy to stay in the grapple because that's where he scores with the knees. Ponceri looking for the one big punch. Gets one upper cut in two. That was a solid punch there by Ponceri. It stunned uh, Mexican a little bit, that uppercut, but not enough of it. And now Mexican able to control the fight with his grappling and uh, keeping the pressure on the Ponceri. There's Ponceri camp, a little bit concerned now that time is running out. One solid punch to knock Mexican down seems to be the tactics of the moment by Ponceri. But uh, Mexican is able to bottle him up with those grapples and uh, stopping Ponceri from punching. Another good uppercut but just missed. Ponceri realising he needs one big punch to knock down Mexican. Mexican going into grappling to smother those punches. Now Ponceri comes back. Here he is. Desperation now by Ponceri. Into the grapple. Knee strikes by Mexican again dominating the grapple and uh, Ponceri a little frustrated now realising that he the time is going to be the victor here. He's going to not be able to uh, beat time, and uh, he hasn't got another round up his sleeve. So, and Mexican quite happy to keep the fight into the close range grappling, and uh, that will probably be enough for him to win if he can just grapple it out. Ponceri making a last run onto Mexican, but uh, not really able to make much of an impression because Mexican's been able to bottle it up with these grapples. Also, Ponceri 
starting to flag a bit with energy. Does get one good punch in, though. That was a good punch on the Mexican. That one stunned him a bit. And now Ponsere with a late charge with knees, but not enough in my estimation. I think Mexican's going to be declared the winner. Ponsere, too little, too late. And there he comes in on the attack on Mexican. This is really realised. That, that was a punch that stunned him. But unfortunately for Ponsere, he wasn't able to keep it going. So I mean, I'd be surprised if Ponsere was the winner of this one. I think Mexican's won it. There he is, the winner on points. Mexican, the 